We are investigating claims of negligence against a Hickson daycare center. As we reported last week, there was a two-year-old who broke his leg at the Primrose School of Hickson. Now Liam Collins is reporting a history going back three years of accusations like this. And what'd you learn, Liam? Yeah, well, that complaint that you're talking about, David Cindy, are, was actually filed by one of the, the daycare's own employees, too. So according to a state report, employees saw a teacher spank children and hold them up by one arm. The daycare settled that issue out of court for about $20,000 and now parents involved want to know why this information wasn't available before. Local 3 News is learning of a history of severe accusations against the Primrose School of Hickson, an infant through pre-K licensed daycare franchise. Uh, he was in excruciating pain, screaming, crying. We first told you about the issues reported at the daycare last week. This is Eric Lane's two-year-old son, barely able to move after the daycare says he fell and broke his femur bone, the strongest bone in the body. Since then, we've learned about a history of issues at the daycare dating back at least three years. In one violation, a state report says employees reported the facility after they saw a teacher spank a child, hold them up by one arm, and cover their faces with a blanket during nap time. This letter says none of the issues were reported to the state for two weeks. One family settled with the daycare out of court for $20,000 for an injury sustained on the same day as other complaints. But none of that information can be found on the state's database of violations for licensed child care centers in the state. Every inspection appears to show that no corrective action was necessary for any complaint. A department spokesperson says the reports are still being populated since the state's website was updated late last year. The owner of the daycare franchise, Dan Kay, says the daycare is cooperating with the state's review of Levi's injury, adding Primrose has received limited complaints from parents in the past. 22 years, as most public businesses do, but those issues have been resolved. The Department of Health and Human Services does list violations for licensed daycares in the state. It's not clear when that information will be up to date on their website, but once it is, you can find that resource on our website, local3news.com. Cindy.